It's strange, isn't it, that in a museum of the history of science such as ours, where we have very famous old objects, the most uh, largest collection of astrolabes in the world, you know, Queen Elizabeth I's astrolabe, uh, Isambard Kingdom Brunel's sextant, we have Cardinal Wolsey's sundial. In the midst of all those riches, the most famous thing we have is a blackboard. You know, people are supposed to go to the the door of the Louvre in Paris and say, where's the Mona Lisa? Um, I don't know if they really do, but that's is said. And they certainly come to the door of the Museum of the History of Science and say, where is Einstein's blackboard? Uh, Einstein's blackboard. So that's a funny thing. We have a blackboard which was chalked on by Einstein when he came to give a lecture in uh, Rhodes House uh, in 1931. And he used two blackboards and both of them came to the Museum of the History of Science, and we now have one, and I think disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Um, but it was brought round directly from the lecture, so it has an absolute complete provenance, what we say in museum ter terminology. Provenance is the history since its creation to now. It was simply brought round after the lecture, given to the museum, the museum has kept it. And it has become a kind of icon. Uh, people come and look at it as though it was almost a quasi-religious sort of object because Einstein has such a, such a standing in the, in the modern world. But if you think about it, he was already a celebrity. He must have been a celebrity in 1931 because blackboards are not meant to be kept. They're ephemeral things. You wipe them off as soon as you've used them. So for a, a blackboard to be preserved, you have to be very famous. Uh, Einstein's blackboard is fortunately quite profound. I'm not a physicist, but it is about cosmology. It's about the age and size and uh, density of the, of the universe. It doesn't have the famous equation that people always expect to have when they come to see Einstein's blackboard, but it has other very profound equations. And I think people enjoy it because it somehow has that direct link with the great man. One of the curious things about our blackboard is that it's never been fixed as you might say. That's to say, we haven't put a varnish on it or a spray, a fixative spray, which you'd expect to do with, say, a pastel uh, drawing. What's keeping chalk to blackboard is a bit of a mystery to me, and quite why Einstein's equations have survived all this time. And there's no sign, we don't look very often, but when we do look, there are no crumbly flakes of chalk down the bottom of the, of the frame. So it is stayed there all this time. It remains there. It can't move because when people, it's so famous, other museums ask to borrow it. And we aren't allowed to lend it because it's thought to be fragile. It might just go off in a truck to another museum and come back as a pile of chalk dust. So we can't allow that. Um, so we keep it here as a permanent treasure. And it's a treasure that works very well for the museum because it is our most famous object.